All right, what is good, everybody? Seven three four here. Today we're gonna be playing some more MX versus ATV Legends, and today we're gonna be running the new drop, Spring Creek 2023. Uh, pretty interesting track. It is beautiful, as you can see the Millville sign over there. You can call it Spring Creek, you can call it Millville, whichever one. The game just calls it Spring Creek, so I just go with that name. Uh, but yeah, this track is absolutely gorgeous, and it's honestly a track you can kind of flow on in. I don't remember the 2022 version too well, but this version actually seems somewhat smoother, if I'm not mistaken. I might be tripping, I didn't go back and play the other one, but this seems a little smoother. It seems the pre-set stuff seems to be a little more, um, you know, I don't really know the word for it, prominent. But like, in terms of actual ruts and stuff, it did seem a little su uh, smoother. Uh, just off the rip, but you know, with the new deformation system, that will change pretty quickly. I'm only running the medium today. I don't like to run the high all the time because it can be pretty challenging uh, after a while. But yeah, we are running uh, some laps here. This track can be pretty tough, especially on some of these jumps. You know, I, I was going to start running the 125, maybe even the 250, but you know, for this track, you can, oh shit, for this track, you have to use the 450. Or you're gonna struggle in some spots unless you're pretty good at the fucking game. I'm not that great, so yeah. This track you can kind of push it, or you can kind of just chill and and like run like a first person and have like a more realistic, you know, experience if you wish. But um, yeah, for me, you know, I've been running the first or third person just because I feel like I've been able to do more, stretch more out, um, and have a little more fun with it. So. Getting over that jump. Hitting, oh my goodness, I was really excited to hit the first or the finish line jump because this jump looks so much fun to scrub, but we're gonna have to wait a whole lap for it, I guess. I guess that's the downside of me not doing these in uh, pre ride instead of time trial. But yeah, a lot of these tracks are just absolutely beautiful. I've been playing on some of the stock tracks, and honestly, these tracks can't even compete in terms of sceneries in like most cases you know some tracks like you know this and even washougal the scenery on those tracks are pretty crazy and they look very very good but yeah these tracks there's just something about um some of them stop track stock tracks and i want to make a whole video on it um because they are absolutely beautiful um but yeah this game is just, bro did i just do that again i just did that last lap I love this long little stretch section right there where you can kind of just let out the gas and you gotta be careful because you can easily blow the corner out especially on the 450s and depending on what your braking tuning is. You know I was running like the uh, grip 2 but I, I, I went to grip 3 just because I feel like it's a little more just uh, saves me a little more. I, I'm not as worried about you know blowing corners out when I have uh, grip 3 on so. I just didn't find that, you know, the benefits from running grip 2 did that much. And yeah, that jump is nice to hit. You know, I didn't throw a whip or anything there, but it is still a fun jump to hit. I think I'll just go ahead and run a race or something, just because, like, I really don't know what to do on these videos in terms of just showcasing the track. You know, obviously I've already done that in three laps, and everyone else is going to play the game, and... You've already seen the track from 2022 and or real life. So there really is no point in showing off the track. There isn't a ton new, and if there is, I'm not, you know, going to be able to tell you. You're going to have to go watch Wyndham, or you're going to have to go watch, like, Big Prize or something like that. Because I'm not uh, as into it. I can tell there, I mean, I can tell there's changes. I just can't, t I just couldn't tell you, tell you the specifics. But it does feel a little different. In this section once again, I love it. Oh, that's what I fuck it up. I kind of just been choking up, you know. Even if I'm doing it a little too much, I just choke up over there on that section just because, you know, I don't want to just fly off the track right there. I'm pretty prone to do that. I used to be very, very, very prone to do that, especially in Supercross. You know, I've obviously gotten a little better because I've, you know, put in a lot more hours in the game. But yeah. 
And after I hit this finish line, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a race just because I want to throw a whip. And whips have been, oh, bro, they are so much fun in this game. Here we go, five laps, Legends difficulty, of course. We're going to do the 450 class, 15 bots, uh, medium deformation. I'll save the max deformation video uh, for else or for another video just because, you know, I feel like that's a little different than testing out, like, the and stuff. Um, but conditions, we're just going to do random. I don't really care. There's, there's no rain for it. Um, I don't know what they're doing with the weather system. You can't really use it anymore, so we'll have to see what that's about, but... And here we go. The AI is pretty good on these tracks. They are improved for these. Uh, oh shit. Rough start for me. Ryan Sipes. See, there are some pro riders. I'm sure there's more I, I don't recognize. I'm if I don't remember if I am remembering correctly, some of these some of these tracks have given me some issues. And one night, I believe on the revisiting Supercross on the first one, I had a close race. And here we are in 16th, so we're going to have to see what happens here on Spring Creek. Not a good start, not a good look for me, but we'll figure it out. We'll try to get going. My god, I just slid out right there. Damn, I am not doing very well. I'm glad I remembered that right there. I'm trying to just send it down this hill because I know the AI might fuck up there or not. They seem to be fucking hitting that pretty quick. The AI at the beginning of the year would have just ran right off the edge of the track. But we are already making up a lot of positions. We're just in 16th, and now we are in 6th. And this track is nice, man. You can just flow pretty well. That's only one lap in the books, too, so... Definitely going to be easy to win this unless I you know don't look do anything too consistent oh sh damn I even got the extra little like triple there but what is that guy doing the AI can do some wild stuff in this game. They will, they will all, you know, we'll have a whole section of Ricky Carmichael's and then one of them will just fly right off the track. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> bro, this game, I love this game. And we, I don't know if I hit that guy right there, but it kind of made me slow down right there. Oh, I'm going to get reset because I was off track for so long. Something I don't like, this was an issue in, like, Supercross the game, is how stacked up the AI is, you know, every, like, if you look, like, it's everyone in two or three sections. I don't like how some of the AI is literally just, like, the most, oh my god, we have the same animation there for the crash. I think three of us went down there. three seconds off the leader if I could just stop making dumb mistakes and I thought I was about to go down there too damn if he, if he was not like in low ghost mode after his crash I would have gotten taken out for sure but these are the leaders right here Ryan side Jordan Pearson is that what, what it says Jordan Pearson 
Ryan Sipes with the uh, Adidas Curly Designs kit. That is honestly a very dope kit. You know, in terms of like modern kits that have come out over the past like few years, that is a very, very dope kit. Damn, I'm I'm honestly sh kind of struggling for some reason. I was doing a lot better in the time trial. Oh my, what am I doing, bro? Let's see, bro, I wish the AI would throw some whips. Like, imagine if you were just out here and the AI just were throwing it sideways. That is the Lee right there. Honestly, I didn't even really notice it. Even with like my crashing, I still caught him. You know, I don't. I'm not want to say the AI needs to be more difficult because, like, honestly, in a three-lap race, like, they're challenging for me. You know, I, like, I honestly need extra laps. If you think, because, like, technically, the, the stock amount of laps is is, is three. Um. If we're going by like how multiplayer does it so i guess yeah technically in like three laps they 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 challenge me so you know i'm i don't i'm not going to want to be one of the people to say the ai needs an update i do think maybe for like the people who are really good just you could just throw in an extra difficulty or their extra 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 difficult or i guess i don't know it, w it would be kind of strange because like if you do that good just go compete in leagues like that yeah you don't need to be playing the ai but but people do people do complain about the ai a lot so i like, don't know it's just something i don't really care about too much personally as i'm an online guy and you know if you're if you're solely an ai dude and you're destroying them you just, i don't know i feel like it's just time to move on <laughs> you know what i mean but the AI have been bad, you know, in some releases and in some of the past few games. So they, they've updated it, of course, and, you know, um, you know, in both games, you know, the Supercross series and the MX vs. ATV games, it's kind of been an issue as I fucked this section up, bro. I don't want to choke this and end up losing to the AI. I don't know if I have lost to the AI in a video yet, and when I do, I actually, I think I have. I'm not for sure, though. But just not speak on the subject. And just focus on not losing as I do that, bro. I like remembered every time this race, I think, except for that that one time. Right when I'm talking about consistency. Only a five second split. I'm gonna go ahead and do something risky. I'm gonna crash too. No, why did I do that? I just impulsively sent that, bro. But we're still gonna get this, get this scrub. Split's already back up to five seconds. Get the finish line for the final lap, and as long as we don't do a bunch of dumb shit. We should be all right. And this kit, man, I have third video in a, in a row where I'm gonna talk about this kit. It's so damn clean, man. I did not mean to do that. Trying to run a cleaner lab here in this last lab, and I think I just fucked up for like the first time as I said that. This game, man, you really can just run some smooth laps, and it's just so much fun. You know, I know a lot of people are still hating on this game, but some people, a lot more people, are starting to see the light. You know, I just think this game is a lot of fun. It just, it really does just have that classic you know mx versus atv feel with like a modern little touch on it 
you know, it's not a Reflex 2.0, which, you know, I think everyone still wants, I'm gonna be real, I, I still want that, I want that game, but, um, you know, we're obviously never gonna get a real Reflex 2.0, but in terms of, like, you know, in terms of what we've got in the past few years, I'll take this, you know, this isn't bad, this isn't, this isn't disappointing in my opinion, and I just love, you know, the state of the game. I don't know where I was, where I was really going with this rant, I just kind of wanted to put my appreciation out there for this game. But here we go, we did not lose to the AI, we actually kind of had a decent finish there. And I think that is going to do it for Spring Creek for me today, as I'm recording this, is Thursday. I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload the same day, or maybe the day after, I'm not for sure. So if you're seeing this on a Thursday or Friday, I'm going to be live streaming one of these days. Uh, but on a Saturday, I can guarantee I am going to be live streaming the same time as the race, just my reaction to what's going on in the race. Um, I am going to have to wear AirPods to listen to the, to, to the stream, uh, simply just because um, I got copyrighted last time from uh, the audio of the broadcast getting in there a few times when I was you know, unmuting and when I was trying to listen to some stuff while also playing. Um, so yeah, I don't want to run into those issues, but uh, hopefully uh, we can, uh, you know, run smoothly on the stream this Saturday. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.